On this um, video, how to tutorial on PowerSchool, I'm going to show you how to access PowerSchool learning um, for your child and, um, and, 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 and see how to navigate that. Okay, so let's go to, um, so your username is same username as the one that you use for your parent portal login. Um, so it will be that. And the password, if you had never logged in into this portal, into PowerSchool Learning, but you have created your um, parent portal account. So if you have this account and this login, but you have never logged in here, then the default password to logging into your PowerSchool Learning is this. Bias one exclamation all lowercase. So we'd use that to log in. And once you log in, you can change your password. I can show you how to do that. Um, but let's try to log in. Okay, I am logged in. Um, so if you if you are logged in here and you want to change your password, go ahead and click on your name and uh, not your name, your little icon on the top right, and click on my information. And um, here's where you would change your password. You can click on that link to change the password. Okay. Enter it twice. Twice uh, should be minimum six characters. Um, it's a good practice to have a combination of both uppercase, lowercase, um, alphabets, and a number and a special character to make your password secure. Um, and here it will show you the children that you are associated with, um, associated to your account. Um, it should automatically associate your students that are already tied to the PowerSchool Parent Portal account um, to here. So now let's go back to the home page you can click on to the home page of PowerSchool Learning by clicking the top left part of it. Um, I have three students uh, advice and um, and so that's why I see all of their classes together. So let's say I just want to see um, what's going on with Mishael so I'll check on his. I want to filter the classes that that he has so I clicked on this little drop uh, down arrow and I'm picking, I'm picking on his name um, and this shows the two classes that are active for him. So I'm, I'm going to go to the preschool for homeroom to see what's there. Um, so here, here's some information. There's some pictures of, of his first day of school. Um, and then if I go down to weekly happenings, this is where their homeroom teacher updates what they are doing that week um, in the class. So this is where you would want to go check um, what's going on on, week, uh, on on a weekly basis in the classroom. And so this is their memory verse that they are working on this week. Um, so and the semester memory verse is a little longer one, which is from Psalm 56 verses 3 to 4. So that's there. Uh, so you can see what they're doing in class this week. Um, so you can have a conversation with them at home. Um, and if you want to know when is this PE, um, what days he has be, and if you ever forget that, you can come here and check that as well. Um, so let's see, right, when does he have be? Oh, right there, sorry. On Friday is the PE day, it's right there um, under the special schedule. So, okay, now let's go back and check my other child. So let's go back here. Um, Let's filter by let's filter by Azariah. Okay. Um, so for Azariah, he has a more a little bit more classes than Mishael, who's in preschool. He's in Azariah's in second grade, so he has a homeroom class active, uh, art, library, PE, and the Indonesian language. He's taking Indonesian language. Um, so let's go to homeroom to see his weekly. Um, updates and see what they are learning this week in class. Um, so this is the home page for this class, um, talking a little bit about Ms. Harvey, his teacher. Um, oh, okay, this um, teacher, she's sending, sending the Friday shout outs as an email. So that's why she doesn't post it here. So if you do not get email from her, you should probably um, just reach out to her so you can uh, 
you can email her by going to the inbox if you don't know her email address um, and then you can write an email to the teacher and then she can and then she can get, get your email and she can respond to you and add you to her email list so you get the weekly Friday shout outs from Miss Harvey um, so yeah so that's where you go to check um, on, on the second grade so let's check on Hananiah he's my upper elementary child you may have a little bit more information let's see do, do, do. No announcements um, usually if there's homework and stuff coming up you would see it here and you would see it here as well um, the, right now there's nothing I'm gonna see if I can go back oh I cannot go back okay um, so let's go to his homeroom class um, oh here as soon as you land on this homeroom page it shows what is happening in fourth grade during the week of the current week. Um, so here you see what they're learning in each of their core subjects. Um, and here is some announcement on, on the late start days, half the days that are coming up. Um, and this, this is the homework schedule for this week. Um, so this is what they're supposed to be doing on Monday, um, those three. Um, so yeah, so this is how you check um, the daily um, or the weekly um, what is happening in class and what's what homework he has um, your child has you can check using power school learning if you have a student in secondary then this home page will show a lot more information because here it will show all the assignment due dates on this box and if there's any announcements that were pushed by each of your child's uh, teacher they would come up on this um, section um, so yeah, so power school learning is to check on the assignments that are due, um, and and just to have it, just to get more information if you're uh, an elementary parent to get more information on what they are learning each week in class, um, and other announcements. That's where you come to power school learning. So that's learning, and this is your power school parent portal to check the grades and attendance. Um, so those are the two things that you would come here for, and this is for. Um, other stuff. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful. Thank you.